Welcome to this video lecture series on antenna and wave propagation. In this video, we'll discuss the loop antenna. We'll discuss the basics of loop antenna in this video. In the further videos, we'll discuss the loop antenna mathematically and then we'll discuss the applications of loop antenna. So first we'll discuss what is a loop antenna. So loop antenna is a radiating coil which is of any shape. So the shapes are square. So the radiating coil is in the form of a square. This is triangular. This is rectangular. This is rhombic. And this is circular. So if I have a radiating wire, now if I bend this radiating wire in any shape, this will form a loop antenna. So in my first video, I discussed that a transmitting cable is also a radiating device. So a transmitting cable, a simple linear transmitting cable is also acting like an antenna. Now, if this transmitting cable is folded in the form of a loop, it is the loop antenna. So now I'll explain this with the help of this wire. I am considering this wire to be my transmitting cable. Now when this wire is straight, this is my straight transmitting cable and when I turn it into the form of a circle or square. Now I cannot turn this in the form of a square with my hand. So suppose if I turn this in the form of a circle, so from the ends of this circle, if I connect the supply, it would act like a transmitting antenna. So I can have many shapes like square, triangular, rectangular, rhombic or circular. Like the way I gave the demo of this loop antenna, the wire actually is not of this length. The length of the wire is really small. So for the simplicity of your understanding, I took a big length wire. Now you can understand that the loop antenna is really small. I showed you a wire with single turn. So if I have multiple turns of the wire, it is called frames. Frame is a So frame is a loop antenna with multiple or I can say n turns to increase the directivity of the antenna. So if I have n turns of triangle shape, I'll get a frame of triangle shape. If I have n turns of square shape, I'll get a frame of square shape. Similarly, I'll get the frames of rectangular, rhombic and circular shape. So now we'll move on to the categories of loop antenna. So we have two categories of loop antenna. First is electrically small loop antenna. So what is electrically small loop antenna? If the length of the radiating coil is less than lambda by 10. Length is less than lambda by 10. So it is called my electrically small loop antenna. So I hope you can understand my lambda is really small because generally the antenna works on megahertz frequencies. So I hope you can understand that lambda is really small. So length is less than lambda. So it is even less than that lambda. So this is called electrically small loop antenna. Second category is So second category is electrically large loop antenna. Large doesn't mean that the length is very big. So large here means that length is nearly equal to lambda. So now we'll discuss the radiation pattern or the properties of electrically small loop antenna and electrically large loop antenna. First I'll discuss the radiation pattern of electrically small loop antenna. So in electrically small loop antenna, my radiation pattern is such that the nulls are perpendicular to the axis of antenna. Or we can say that the major lobes are in the direction of axis of antenna. Whereas for electrically large loop antenna, the nulls are in the direction of axis of antenna. Or I can say that major lobes are in perpendicular direction to axis of antenna. 
सो नाउ विल मूव ऑन टू द यूजेज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकली लार्ज एंड इलेक्ट्रिकली स्मॉल लूप एंटीना आई नो द रेडिएशन रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकली स्मॉल लूप एंटीना इज वेरी लेस सो आई कैन से दैट इट हैज एंड फॉर इलेक्ट्रिकली लार्ज लूप रेडिएशन रेजिस्टेंस इज कंपेरेटिवली लार्ज एज आई नो दैट द लॉस रेजिस्टेंस एंड द रेडिएशन रेजिस्टेंस आर द डिटरमाइनिंग फैक्टर फॉर द एफिशियंसी ऑफ द एंटीना फॉर दिस फॉर इलेक्ट्रिकली स्मॉल लूप एंटीना माई रेडिएशन रेजिस्टेंस इज वेरी स्मॉल एज कंपेयर टू द लॉस रेजिस्टेंस सो इट हैज वेरी लेस एफिशियंसी सो नाउ इट कैन नॉट बी यूज एज अ ट्रांसमिटिंग एंटीना बिकॉज फॉर ट्रांसमिटिंग एंटीना एफिशियंसी इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्टर so generally my loop antennas can't be used as a transmitting antenna so we'll see the uses of the loop antenna so first use of the loop antenna is in radio receivers because in receivers the noise factor is more important in receivers i want less noise i want more signal so snr factor is really important in the case of receiving antenna so loop antenna can be easily used in radio receivers second application of loop antenna is direction finding we'll discuss the direction finding application of loop antenna in a separate video so as of now i'm just saying that the loop antennas are used in aircraft direction finders and the third application is ultra high frequency transmitters so this was all about the loop antenna so i hope you understood the basics of loop antenna the frame the types of loop antenna the radiation pattern and its uses i hope you like this video like this video subscribe this channel and stay tuned for the further videos thank you